So this is a 50s classic series Stratocaster. You can see you can't adjust the truss rod up here by the nut. So the truss rod adjustment is going to be down here at the base of the neck. So fastest way I know to get at that is to loosen the strings a couple turns, maybe two or three turns loosen. Put a capo on the first fret. Turn the guitar over. See, it just kind of comes apart. You want to make sure that you've got the neck held in your hand so it doesn't flop off and fall on the ground or fall somewhere. Now, there's the adjustment for that guy right there. And Take your favorite screwdriver and this neck has a ton of relief in it right now even with the strings off you might be able to see but um, so we need to tighten it quite a bit but first we want to loosen it so loosen about a quarter turn that just releases tension so you don't hurt the neck when you start tightening and you can tell this one's really got a ways to go because it's like really loose Normally, if you just need to um, adjust it for a small amount, uh, get rid of a small amount of relief, you might only do a quarter or half turn. And now I'll just put it back on, string it up, pull, uh, tune the strings, the tension, and then check it again and see if you've uh, got it where you want it. If not, you're going to have to go through this again and take off the neck. It's kind of a pain in the ass. but. Uh, that's the way you gotta adjust these when they're down at the base of the neck. So now you can see I tightened it too much because now we got back bow going on with the neck. Instead of uh, too much relief, I've got too little. So now I get to do it all over again. I'll put the uh, capo back on here at the first fret, loosen the strings, and take the neck off and loosen that. Uh, truss rod a little bit try and get it to the right spot So one thing that's important is to make sure you know what gauge strings you want to put on if you've got heavier strings on there It's gonna pull harder have more tension on the neck and it's gonna show that it's got more relief so You want to have the correct gauge of strings on when you're turning your truss rod um, If you're planning to change gauges or anything like that like I am right here uh, you got to throw the right gauge on there first uh, because now that I'm going to go down to 10s um, it will have uh, less relief than what I might have seen before. Another thing I wanted to show since I came across it um, was when you're restringing a strat you're going to come across this sometime I always come across it is that some strings will stick and will not come out uh, and you're pushing on it and you're trying to figure out why and it's, you can't get to it from the back side I always have one of these on hand which is just a really really skinny little screwdriver or maybe you can find another tool that does the same job but it's small enough that it will go in there push it through and just kind of loosened up that string and now it popped out so I have the strings off I figure I might as well polish the frets and there's all kinds of things out there. Uh, I use this stuff called semi-chrome. Get in the picture. Semi-chrome polish. And it's this weird pink stuff. That's probably really caustic. Doesn't smell that great. But you put a little on. Use a rag. And it just gets any tarnish off there.